Kneeling beside her locker in the elementary wing of the school building, Maggie Martin listened with a sinking heart as her eighth grade classmates discussed their summer plans. Visualizing her own summer as three months of drudgery and tedium cooped up in Campbell Holler like a caged bird, she shook her head as if she could throw off the dread of isolation and loneliness. Maggie and her best friend, Mary Ann Collins, had emptied their locker, stacking their books on the floor and sorting the various odds and ends they had accumulated. Maggie shot the last piece of scrap into a trash can like a basketball through the hoop. We better hurry. Tom for the last bell, and everyone else has gone back to the classroom. As Maggie bent to lift the stack of books, someone slammed into her, knocking her down, scattering her books in all directions. Lying on the floor, arms and legs flailing wildly, she focused on the face above hers. Walter Spinks, a senior. Hey, you big ox, get off me! Sorry, Maggie, I tripped. Walter's big ears and wide grin reminded her of a monkey, a monkey who made no attempt to get up, but purposely ran his hand under her blouse. Maggie shoved at him and screamed, Get your hands off me, you big ape! Struggling frantically and kicking the trash can over, scattering papers over the hallway, she grabbed a book and swung as hard as she could from her awkward position, catching his temple with a satisfying thwack. Why, you little bitch. Walter rolled over and sat up, holding his head with both hands. Maggie leaped up, raised the book high, and whammed it down hard on the top of his head. Don't you ever touch me again, or I'll kill you! Mary Ann, almost to the classroom door, turned as soon as she heard the commotion and hurried to Maggie. Are you hurt? I'm not hurt, but I'm mad as a riled-up hornet. She shook her history book menacingly at Walter. Get up, you big lunkhead, and get out of here, or I'll hit you again. Groaning and holding his head, Walter got slowly to his feet, just as Mrs. Weldon, the eighth grade teacher, stepped into the hallway. What's going on here? She demanded, twisting her head on her long, skinny neck like a suspicious vulture. I accidentally tripped and bumped Maggie. Walter, still holding his head, said innocently while backing toward the door to the parking lot. I apologized, but she hit me with her book. He pushed the door open and rushed out a second before the bell. Maggie, that temper of yours will get you into a peck of trouble if you're not careful. Now get this mess cleaned up.